Hey guys, it is me Stace. Welcome back to another Makeover Monday on a Thursday. What that means is the project that we created this past Monday, which is this really cute happiness card, I'm making it something different. And today we'll be turning that into a layout that will look like that when we are finished. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. All right, at the computer, you wanna to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, this verifies that you were logged in. On this page, you want to scroll down until you get to cards. Click on View All. In the search box in the upper right hand corner, type in the word Tulip and then click on Enter. And the project we are changing is the Happiness Tulip card. Go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up a preview window. Click on Customize. All right, so we have the card base, the piece for the front, the tulips, and the gray strip and our white piece. I'm first gonna change the size of the white piece, so I have that selected. Top toolbar, I'm gonna to unlock the lock and make the width be 12 inches, and the height also 12 inches. That'll be our 12 by 12 piece. Let's bring that over so we can see it. I'm gonna change the blue piece as well, so I have that selected. Again, top toolbar, you wanna to unlock the lock, make the width be 11.25, and the height also 11.25. Now we can bring that over. I'm going to change the size of the gray piece or that gray strip. Top toolbar again. I'm going to unlock the lock and make the width be 11 inches and the height is going to be 1. So you can see that there. I'm going to bring this part over. I'm going to use the arrows on that to resize it to make a fit across our 12 by 12 piece. I'm going to first center that blue piece there. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. So my size here is on the width is 11.499 and the height is 3.826. Bring that down some. Now I do want to add some photo mats. Left hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on shapes, click on a square, and I'm using four by four photos. So I want this piece to measure four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I'll change that in the top toolbar there. And I want three of them. So I'm going to right click on that and choose duplicate and duplicate again. Let me move my tulips out of the way. I'm going to change the color of these as well. And I think I'm going to go with the color gray. So on my right hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on color sync. We can see all the colors. I'm going to click on my black square and drag that to the gray layer. And we'll see those change for us. I'm going to click on this piece and choose move to front. All right, so I think that looks pretty good, but I do want to bring in more of this tulip color. So I think on my white 12 by 12 piece, I might make that piece be a green. So again, on the right-hand side, under color sync, I'm going to drag my white piece to that green layer. Yeah, I think I do like that one better. I now want to change out the word happiness. I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to right-click on it and choose ungroup. And grab the, cr the cream layer, move it out of our way. So I'm going to have the happiness selected. Bottom right-hand corner of design space, click on contour. And I'm going to hide all the insides of the letters and also the, the letters themselves so we can make our own title. Are they, although I do think happiness is a perfect title for a scrapbook page. Right now I wanna add my own text there. So again, left-hand side toolbar, click on text. I'm gonna type in the word Dinah. And I wanna change that text. I'm gonna bring that down so I can see it. I'm gonna go to my font on the very top, click on that and the font I chose was American Typewriter. I'm going to find that. It is right there. I'm going to click on that. We'll see the font change. I'm going to rotate this, make it be a little larger. All right, so I think I like the way that looks, although I do want to add some hearts to the side. So again, left-hand side toolbar. I'm going to click on shapes. I'm going to click on, this, on the heart. Bring that heart down. I'm going to change the size of that. So again, top toolbar. I'm leaving the lock locked. I'm changing only the height and making that be one inch. I'm going to bring this down here, rotate it a little bit. I'm going to right click on it again and choose duplicate and bring that one over here. Now normally at this point we would go in here and use the slice option to cut all these out, but there are a lot of layers here. So what I want to do instead is take my left mouse button across the entire thing, bottom right hand corner of design space, I'm going to click on attach. Looks like nothing happened when your Cricut goes to cut this out. It'll actually cut out that word for us, although we can't really see it now, but it does cut it out. 
I'm going to bring that green piece back over, drag it across everything, and right click on that and choose group. All right, so I'm going to bring that up there. All right, so now I'm going to change the size of these tulips. I want them to kind of go behind that piece here. So my tulips in size, the height is 2.379, and the, that's the width, and the height is 3.515. Now I do want to add more hearts. So I'm going to go to my left-hand side toolbar again, and click on Shape, click on the hearts. I'm going to resize that. Again, top toolbar, I'm going to just leave it locked, and I'm going to change the height only, making that be one inch. And I want three of those. I'm going to right-click on those and choose Duplicate, and then Duplicate again. And they'll kind of go over here on this side. And I want the hearts to be the same color as that pink. So on my right-hand side toolbar under Color Sync, I'm going to click on the hearts and drag them down to the pink layer. All right, so there is what our layout will look like. So I'm going to remove the green piece. That's our 12 by 12. I'm going to remove the three photo mats. I'll use the trimmer to cut those out. They're four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Our gray strip here is one inch by 11, so I can cut that out as well. All right, upper right-hand corner, go to click on Make It. So we have our red. We have the front of the piece, the cream behind that one, the green, and also the blue. I'm going to go to click, click on Continue, cut these out with the table, and put our layout together. Hey guys, here we are with all of our pieces cut out. I'm first going to attach the blue piece to the green piece. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. And I'm first going to put glue on these little pieces here. Whoops. Okay, and then go all the way around it. Again, I'm not going to go heavy on the glue because it's going to go inside a pocket page. All right. Bring this down. Make sure it's in the center and straight. Okay. We have our, our gray strip. Bring that down. That's going to go down here. Look at that straight. I think it is. All right, let's work on our name, Dinah. So I'm going to bring these over. The glue on the back. Okay. I'm going to take this and lay that on top. And I did save the insides of these. So I have the inside of the D and also the A. So I'm going to bring that here. All right, let me grab my A. It's awfully little, this little triangle piece for the inside of that letter. And this will be my Project Life 12 by 12 for August. Okay, so we have that. That looks pretty good. I'm going to flip it over and grab some foam squares. I'm running out of these. So I think I'm going to use probably all of them. That way they're done. Give all that a squish. All right, I'm going to set that aside for right now and work on our tulips. So I have the green here, and I have the tops of those. All right. Again, these go on a certain way. All right, so I'm gonna put glue on that one, just like that. So that one's done. Then we have this one. I believe it goes like that. I think it goes this way. I may pop these up as well. I do have more foam squares I could use. All right, a little to get a hold of. That one's gonna go on that one there. Get that lined up. Easier said than done. There we go. Okay, our last one right here. 
I'm not sure if this has a direction or not. I guess we'll find out when I glue it down. Let's scooch it over. There we go. Okay. All right, so we have that. I have my gray photo mats over here. Wait till you guys see the pictures of Dinah. Can I just say adorable? Okay. That's going to go here, here, and it's going to go here. Let me go ahead and grab the photos. So I have three of them. This is one hubby's hook. Do you see that? Under a blanket, or under his shirt, actually. Got my glue on that one in the back. So this one's all about Dinah, and I think for September we'll do all about Hardy. Okay, so there's one photo. Then we have this one, look, with her pillow. I mentioned that before, um, whenever she sees like a big dog, it's funny, she'll go outside and bark at the big dog, you know, until she can't bark anymore, then she'll come inside and grab her pillow. If like the trash truck goes by, she grabs her pillow. Whenever she gets frightened or scared, she'll grab pillows. And she has three of them, but that white one is her favorite. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, she's wearing my glasses. They were only on her eyes for like two seconds, just so I can take a picture, so it did not harm her eyes or anything like that, but I just it was too cute. I mean, she is such a funny dog with her personality. Now, I'm filming this on Monday. I just got done doing um, this card here. That's where this layout came from. And I mentioned she was sick. She's still sick, uh, but she's in there laying down. So hopefully that means she's feeling better. So I'm gonna hide a part of that one here. So I'm gonna put that here, I think. I'm gonna score our photos down first. I love this one under the blanket. You can see she's tired. Can you see the red in her eyes? That's how you know when she's tired. Her eyes get really, really red. All right. And I'm not going to journal about this one. I, mean, I think the title just pretty much says it. All right, so hopefully that's straight. I don't think it is, but it's going to have to be. And I think this one I'm going to put on a little bit of an angle just to be just to kind of break it up a little bit all right so now we have this and we have our tulip that I want to put behind this piece so I'm first going to glue this one down actually I'm just going to put glue on this piece here because I do want to pop this up I have these itty bitty little foam squares I'm going to take the backing off of that. I'm going to move this out of my way. Bring this up so that kind of lifts up a little bit. And I believe this one goes on this side. Put it on the back of that. Give it a squish. And just put glue on this part to hold it down. Take the backing off of that one. And that's going to go here. And then we have the other ones on the other side. Oops, I had two of them. I think this one I'm going to have to cut in half to make a fit on that itty bitty piece right there. Okay. Let's grab this one. Put glue in this part here to hold it down for us. Take the backing off of that foam square. Bring that one over here. Yeah, I like how that looks popped up. All right, let's put glue on our last one here. Alrighty, and that's going to go... I think I had it the wrong way, but that's okay. All right, now we can take the backing off of these guys. I already gave them a squish. So they should come off pretty easy. right there. I'm not going to move it. <laughs> All right. Then we have our hearts. They're going to go over here. And I want to pop them up as well, just so it's even with the rest. Just put two on these. All right. Take them off my finger. 
The one thing I don't like about these is that they're all together. So you take, you pick up one, you're picking up five of them. Okay. All right, give them a squish, take the backing off. That's one that's gonna go there. Give these guys a squish, take the backing off. That'll go here. Our last heart. Take the backing off of them. All right, now, we do have the hearts that we cut out here. I could, and I think, I will bring them up here. Just so it brings in more of that yellow. So again, let's go back to these foam squares. Take the backing off. Okay, and our last one right here. Okay, and that quick. Our layout is done. Not bad, right? You don't even see it. Okay, that's going to go like that. There you go, what do you think? All right guys, there you have it. Our Makeover Monday turned into a Thursday uh, scrapbook. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.